Hazard was found dead in his home with multiple stab wounds to his chest. It was initially suspected that he was killed by an attacker, however, there was no evidence to support this. Not only this, but the 33-year-old man had no suicidal intentions. How was he possibly killed? To put it simply, he purchased a jacket, which he would believe was stab-proof. Yep. Let's see where this is going. A stab-proof jacket. And he had the smart idea to test it out on himself. Which, as you gathered, didn't end very well for him. Instead of testing the jacket by simply stabbing it, or even with a mannequin, or literally anything else, he decided to stab himself while wearing the jacket with a knife. You can't help but think that when he stabbed himself the first time and the jacket didn't work, why try again? A 45 year old man made a daring but foolish decision after he lowered himself into a lion enclosure at Kiev Zoo in Ukraine. After removing his jacket and shoes, the 45 year old lowered himself into the enclosure, which held four lions, using a rope. The man then shouted, God will save me if he exists, while horrified onlookers screamed at him to get out. However, it was a bit too late by then, as this attracted the attention of a lioness in the enclosure, who pounced on the man and slashed his throat, severing his carotid artery. The man was instantly killed, and 10 puncture wounds were left on his neck. Two women bet a Russian man by the name of Sergei Tuganov that if he could satisfy the both of them for 12 hours, they would pay him a few thousand dollars. Tuganov accepted the challenge, and brought it upon himself to take Viagra in order to keep him hard and ready for action. As with most pills, Viagra can cause some side effects, including diarrhea, headaches, and flushing, and in rare cases, strokes, increased or decreased blood pressure, and even heart attacks. That, by the way, is from taking one pill. However, Tuganov decided to ingest the whole bottle of Viagra. He soon found out the hard way, as minutes after winning the bet, Tuganov died from suffering a heart attack. <laughs> A 38-year-old lawyer by the name of Gary Hoy died after claiming that the windows of the skyscraper where he worked were unbreakable. However, this claim proved to be his last. In an effort to demonstrate the strength of the windows of the Toronto Dominion Bank Tower in front of visiting law students, Gary Hoy charged at the window and hurled himself towards it. Impressively, he proved his point and rebounded straight off the window pane. However, that wasn't quite enough to satisfy him, so he then charged for a second time and hurled himself toward it. But this time, the window gave way. Instead of the glass breaking, it just popped out of his frame, sending Hoy to plummet 24 stories to his death. I guess he was technically right by saying that the glass was unbreakable, as it didn't actually break. But regardless, he fell to his death. Hoy was considered as one of the best and brightest members of the law firm where he worked. However, he wasn't too bright on that particular occasion. This death was so stupid, in fact, that it actually won a Darwin Award back in 1996 for the most stupid death. A Polish farmer was drinking with his friends when it was suggested that they strip naked and engage in some manly games in order to determine who was more masculine than the other one. They started by hitting each other with frozen turnips in their head. And no, that's not a euphemism. Before one of the Polish farmer's friends took the game to the next level by cutting off the end of his own foot with a chainsaw. The farmer wasn't going to be outdone, however. So he grabbed a chainsaw and shouted, Watch this then, before cutting off his own head. Now, I'm not sure who the most stupid person in that situation is. The turnips or the men? And I kind of think it's the men. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, then please be sure to hit that like button and maybe even share the video too. Also, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, as well as what you'd like to see next. And why not subscribe to the channel if you haven't already? Lastly, to those of you who are in the notification squad, we salute you.